Greetings traders, Jason here with SwingHigh.com for your halftime report. Uh, let's take a look at the markets here. Uh, all the major indices are up about 1%, but uh, we are smacking our heads on some major resistance areas and naturally we're pulling back. Um, the VIX is down 1.45%, which is not enough. Um, I want to see at least a 3% drop when the major indexes are uh, up 1%. Uh, so the VIX isn't really confirming the move up today. The trin, uh, the trin is rather neutral. Um, I'd like to see it under 0.8 to confirm bullish behavior, but uh, between 1.2 and 0.8 is kind of neutral, and that's where we're hanging out today. In fact, uh, if anything, the trin is more bearish than bullish uh, in that. It spent more time above 1.2 and almost no time below 0.8. Um, so that also is not confirming this move up. The tick. The tick spent most of the day in positive territory. Um, recently we've been pulling back, which makes sense because we're at resistance. Um, let me show you what I mean by at resistance. If you recall, uh, I've been saying that the 110 area was going to be a problem for the SPY for uh, a while now and what did we do we went up hit our heads pretty much at 110 our high was 110.03 and we fell back down um, that comes from this weekly chart we go back to uh, October of 2008 uh, when we have this big gap here um, or a big drop in the weekly and so naturally we're finding big time resistance there um, if we do break out of this, uh, I expect to see us run to 120 and uh, pretty fast. We'll see a little bit of resistance here at 114. Might not be much. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Um, let's go intraday here. This morning we had a open a little bit higher and then we kind of filled our gap and um, it's probably better shown here. Okay, there we go. We had a small gap up this morning, and then, um, well, it looked like we were going to gap up pre-market. We opened kind of flat. Um, had a nice run up until we hit the 110 area, and now we're pulling back. Um, I'd like to see another test of the 110 area. I'd like to see this pullback be rather shallow and put in a higher swing low if I want to continue being bullish here. Um, in general, I am long and uh, I will remain long until something proves that we are not in an uptrend anymore. Um, just keep in mind that the VIX taking the trend are not really corroborating this move upward and uh, we have hit major resistance. Uh, let's see Let's see how the rest of the day unfolds. I, uh, I haven't made any trades yet. I don't think I will make any trades today and um, I'd like to see how we test away this 110 area on the SPY. And if we close above it, that'd be really bullish, and we'll see how that works out. Also, we are back in the rising wedge formation. If you recall, on Friday, we closed below it. Um, now we're back inside of it, so hopefully for the bull case, we can close back inside of the rising wedge. Uh, so let's see how the rest of the day unfolds. Check back this afternoon for my post-market analysis. Thank you for being a part of SwingHigh.com, and remember to always trade with a stop loss and manage your risk appropriately. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day.